let's discuss more about network IDS deployment. Here's an example enterprise network configuration. The internal network has multiple subnets, and the enterprise has public-facing services such as a public web server. Recall our lecture on firewalls. We typically want to place an external firewall to protect the entire enterprise network. In addition, we want to protect the internal network from the public-facing servers. These servers are put in what we call a DMZ, and we use internal firewalls to monitor traffic between the internal subnet and the DMZ. The internal firewalls also monitor traffic between the subnets. So that's the deployment of firewalls. But what about IDS? A common location for an IDS sensor is just inside the external firewall. This position has a number of advantages. Obviously, you can see attacks from the outside world. By comparing the logs of the firewall and the IDS, we can also find out whether the firewall had missed an attack that it should have prevented. The IDS at this location can also detect attacks that are targeted at the public-facing servers. In addition, because it can analyze all outgoing traffic of the entire enterprise network, it can also detect attacks from a compromised server either from DMZ or the internal network. A network IDS can also be placed between the external network and the internet. The main advantage of this location is that the network IDS can see all attempted attacks to the enterprise network, including those attacks that can be filtered by the firewalls. For example, if the firewall is overloaded, it will not only drop the incoming packet, it may not even have resource to log this packet. But an IDS at this location can see that packet and log it. Therefore, the IDS can see all attempted attacks. In addition to deploying network IDS at the perimeter, we can also deploy a network IDS to protect a subnet or set of servers. A network IDS at this location can perform more detailed analysis of traffic data because compared with a network IDS at the perimeter, it has smaller amount of traffic volume due to the fact that it only monitors traffic to a subnet and the servers. In addition, it can also detect intrusions from inside the network. In addition to protecting the servers, a network IDS can also be placed to protect the workstations or networks of important personnel or departments. A network IDS at this location can focus on targeted attacks. For example, attacks that are targeted at financial transaction systems. Compared with an IDS at the network perimeter, which must examine traffic to the whole network, an IDS at this location can instead focus on traffic to these high-value systems.